Well, the Oklahoma State <laughs> Fair is just a couple of days away. We've got the Midway Field going oh, right here. Oh, my god! Gates to the fair open Thursday, and the excitement is building. Uh, but before you head to the fairgrounds, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. News source Austin Brissett explains. Opening day for the Oklahoma State Fair is almost here. And this construction is just one of the many things you're going to want to pay attention to this year. Well, we encourage people to uh, allow for some extra time because it will not be as quick as it has traditionally been to get in from that south parking lot. Construction that's a bit of an obstruction. As workers build the new and improved State Fair Coliseum, fairgoers coming in from the south side of the grounds from Reno Avenue will have a little maneuvering of their own to do. So you either need to go to the left and cut through the barns, or you need to turn to the right and cut through the carnival lot to get to an entrance that's on the east side of the Jim Norick, and there's also one on the west side. But both fair spokesperson Scott Munns and MAPS program manager David Todd say it's all for the better. It's state-of-the-art facility. It'll be modern concourses and, and uh, concessions and, and all those things that you're used to seeing. And remember that because it's a MAPS project, it's paid for as soon as it opens. Set to host concerts, basketball tournaments, and horse shows, the Coliseum is expected to create almost 400 jobs and over $400 million in economic impact. But it won't be done until early 2025. Until then, the Jim Norick Arena will remain open. But Tuesday, it was business as usual. Workers as far as the eye can see, getting everything ready for another year at the State Fair. We've got stuff for people to do from one corner of the property to the other. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. Again, this all gets started Thursday. For a list of events, pricing, and more, visit our website, kfor.com.